What's up, everybody? David here with session number 24 of This Is Dayford FC. Now, we are still in fairly the beginning of the the first year that we've been in the English Premier League, and this is our sixth overall season with the save. And it's been pretty rough so far, I'm, gonna, I'm going to admit. But I think it's growing pains because of our team has gone from Vanarama South to the Premier League in five straight promotional seasons. And, you know, we've, we've made a lot of great improvements to the club with, uh, you know, youth facilities upgraded several times. Uh, our training facilities are being upgraded. And now, you know, we have got this uh, stadium expansion that just completed. And we... Uh, have a 13,000 seat stadium and we're only supposed to have a, a minimum of 12,500 seats for the Premier League so we are now uh, meeting the minimum almost minimum requirements and we still have the smallest stadium in the Premier League and we have the lowest attendance I'm sure these these clubs have you know 30, 40, 50, 60, 70,000 seat stadiums so over time, uh, our stadium will improve to, uh, I believe our capacity is 45,000. I thought it was 35, but it's like 44 or something like that. Uh, so uh, we just got, we just got uh, our first expansion completed. That was a nice thing. Uh, we won our uh, third round game. Uh, we've had our draw since then. And now we have Manchester United in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup. Well, it's going to be a very, very tough game for us. I picked up another midfielder. I'm really... John Arango is not happy uh, being on the team. He hasn't been for several years. Uh, I've tried to do everything I can to uh, make him be happy and, and, of course, even give him the highest pay on the team equal to the highest paid player with that clause and he still wants to play for a larger team so I've listed him on a transfer uh, John Arango has about a three million dollar value we'll see what we can get for him we're gonna try to get about 10 to 12 million dollars for him if we can so be it if not uh, Joe Allen he was a he was not even wanted by any other club uh, you know he is he is 30 years old now because uh, our save is you know six years uh, from its our current year that we are in real life. So uh, Joe's 30 years old. We signed him to a, a three-year contract, and he's making 54,000 a week. So it's nice to have uh, Joe Allen with us. He can play roaming playmaker. He can play advanced playmaker. He can play pretty much any position uh, in the midfield. So it's nice to have uh, Joe Allen with us. Now, we've also had a, a couple more, uh, as we announced last time, uh, Dr. Abdullah has now uh, given us the go-ahead to uh, expand on our youth facilities yet again, even though we just had them improved, we are improving them again. Our uh, training facilities are now being improved. They'll be done by the end of uh, this year. And we are already uh, announcing our second ground expansion. So we have a 13,000 seat stadium. And with this uh, expansion, it will expand our seats uh, to a capacity of 18,355, which is nice. It's going to cost us $8.2 million, which is not a problem. Uh, we have that easily. We've already paid for everything else. So uh, another ground expansion is a good thing. Really bad news for us, our left winger, Ben Pringle, uh, he has tore his Achilles tendon. He's going to be out pretty much the rest of the season, and he is on his final year, of, uh, he's on the final year of his contract, so we will see what is going on with uh, Ben Pringle uh, towards the end of the season. I don't know if we're going to renew his contract or not, especially with this five to six month uh, injury that we have. So we will uh, take a look at that and, and reassess this at the end of the year. I've got a lot of players on the roster. I I think I'm I think I'm at about 25, 
30 members now. So uh, we're going to have to bring in another uh, midfielder. Well, not mid. Well, if Arango leaves, we'll have to pull in another midfielder. And I, I don't expect that's not going to happen until the end of the year. I mean, we are in October right now. So I, I imagine in the next transfer window in January, Arango will probably be gone. Uh, and we're going to try to find a, uh, we're going to try to find a pretty decent right winger. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to spend big. So we're going to spend as much as we can to get one. And then we're going to move Robert Snodgrass from the right to the left. And that was the plan that we, that I had anyway, but we just, I just couldn't find a, a winger with the quality that I wanted to replace Pringle. Cause he's pretty good. Ben Pringle's pretty good right now. And, uh, you know, an upgrade from Ben Pringle would have cost a lot of money. So now that he's on the shelf for the next six months, we're just going to go ahead and make that move a little bit earlier. So hopefully we'll have enough in the budget. I'll, I'll ask for an increase, which I, I'm sure we'll probably get. Uh, so let's go and take a look at our financial uh, financial uh, uh, report right now. So we we had 16 million overall balance, and and guys, you guys can see being in the Premier League is just ridiculous money. <laughs> We're already back up to 33 million. We've got another, you know, expansion on the stadium going, youth facilities being expanded, uh, training facilities being expanded. Uh, we've got a, a lot going on, and it's it's all being paid for. We're not needing to finance anything, which is a good thing. Uh, we have almost a maximum uh, staff. I mean, we have got, you know, 30 staff members almost. Our Payroll is that for players, we're at $783,000 a week. That is uh, over five times the amount of what we were spending last year. And our expenditures on our staff salaries is about 222000 a month. Now, last year we were spending a total of 100000 So we've basically doubled our staff and we've doubled the size of our staff almost as well uh yeah i'd say about i say we we've almost doubled it so we we've uh grown as a team i mean tremendously we've gone from this little team with you know myself and three coaches and one scout and one physio to this massive you know massive uh, staff and that's just the first team we have a staff for our under 18s and we have a staff for our 21s team as well so it's uh we've got a lot of employees and we're you know we're we're doing fairly well in in the premier league for you know the 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 quality of our staff we're not doing too bad our our scouting needs help but i can expand our scouts i can get another you know, I can get a bunch of scouts a lot. In fact, I'll, I'll probably go ahead and do this right now. We should increase Dr. Abdullah, our scouting network, to enable us to uh, scout more players. And there you go. Dr. Abdullah is just throwing cash now that he's making millions a week. He's like, sure, no problem. So there you go. We expanded by two more. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually get them scouts. So we are scouting quite a bit now, too. Uh, I'll show you our, our scouting ranges. We were just in, uh, we just were in England and the United Kingdom area. But as you can see, we are everywhere now. We are in, you know, Northern Europe and Asia. We are in Western Europe or Northern Africa. I mean, we are in the the South Pacific. We're in South America. We're in North America, and we have about 16% of the world scouted. So it's not too bad. And over the years, that that number will go up. And it's just going to give us a, a larger uh, pool of players to, you know, actually draw from, which is really nice. And we've got, you know, thousands of players in our in our uh, scouting pool, so it's really nice. All right, so let's take a look for, for our loans. We've got quite a few players out on loan, and there some of them are doing actually pretty well. We're getting a, we're getting quite a few appearances and substitutions, and. Uh, 
not really too heavy on the goals part of it. So uh, we, we do have a lot of young kids, and a lot of these young kids are getting limited uh, first-team games, as you can see. I have a couple other players that I, I've just now listed that hopefully will be able to find some suitors for Skybet Champion or maybe even here in the Premier League, but I don't know. I, I really haven't uh, loaned out higher caliber players. Now, as for our uh, schedule that we've had, we, we left off last time with the uh, Newcastle uh, win at home in the third round of the, the Capital One Cup. We're going to play this Manchester United game. So we'll we'll have to see how we do. Hopefully Manchester is going to play a light roster on us, and we're gonna we're gonna try to counter them today. We're gonna try to run a, a countering tactic on them. We haven't uh, been very successful though, guys. We we have been losing uh, a, a fair amount of games. We've had a horrible stretch though. After our Bristol Rovers game, we had a good win on Bournemouth four to one at home at the Dungeon. Then we had to go away. Uh, we had to play at Old Trafford. We lost to Man United 2-4. to four. We had to play home at Arsenal. We lost 1-3. to three. Uh, We you know, won that Newcastle game. Then we had to go uh, away to Merseyside and uh, Everton 2-4. to four. Chelsea, we played at home. They beat us 1-2. Uh, to two. And in fact, they came back and beat us. Uh, I thought we were going to draw but they hit a late goal in like the 88th minute and uh, they actually went ahead and beat us. Uh, Derby, we actually came back from behind and won. They were uh, ahead 2-1 to one. and then pretty late we came back and scored two goals back to back and we actually got a nice away win uh, 3-2 to two. and we really needed that because we were at this point we were literally sitting in 20th place and we were dead last uh, in the, in the point we were literally sitting in last place, and that we needed that win, uh, win, and that got us out of rele relegation, and this nice draw with Watford, which Watford is actually sitting fourth in the table right now. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty pretty hard stretch of games, and uh, considering you know we we played pretty much the top the top of the the table. I think we we did okay, squeaking at least um, you know a couple couple victories out of this instead of you know seven straight losses. So, all right. So we have the the Man United game. This is the fourth round of the Capital One Cup, and let's take a look at the table before we take a look at the lineup. So we've got nine games played. We're sitting in 16th place. Not very good. We've got two wins on draw and six losses with a negative seven goal differential and we're sitting on seven points so we are one point clear of the relegation zone which in no way shape uh, means that we are safe at all uh, we need to get at least we need to get at least 40 to 50 points to kind of guarantee us safety and that's that's the goal for this year guys uh, uh, the goal is to progress far in the capital one cup granted yes we're playing man united right now with a horrible draw and i'm wanting to go very far and very deep into the the fa cup so if we can we can do that and survive relegation we'll go into the off season with a ton of money to spend and we will spend it we've got a lot of contracts a lot of the one year guys that i signed this year a lot of the all of the free agents basically i've signed for one year so hopefully if we can sell john arango as well we'll have a, a fairly large amount of cash going into maybe even the January transfer window to try some try to bring some uh, big name players into the team but there's been a lot of free agents guys that I've tried to pull onto the team and even though we're in the English Premier League they just do not want to talk to our team so I'm thinking if we survive this year and get a year of the Premier League under our belt I'm sure more players uh, like uh, Fabian Delph, I, I wanted to try to pull him onto the team, and he was a free agent, but he just simply did not want to talk to us, even though we're a Premier League team. So, I mean, you can't fault players like that, you know, to get locked up in a in a two-year contract or three-year contract with a new promotion team, and if we get relegated, then they're stuck playing championship ball, and then they get left out of their, you know, 
uh, na national teams and shit, and it's just, uh, yeah, just not a thing. So we have to establish ourselves first before we start getting a lot uh, higher quality players. So, But let's go ahead and take a look at the lineup now, and we'll uh, take a look at who we're going to play for Manchester United today. All right. We're going to play Sergio Alvarez in the box. He's pretty much the only option that we have, and we'll be looking to... Uh, Definitely looking to find a replacement for Sergio Alvarez. He was a sort of like a, I, I, I want to say he, he, he was pretty much the only available option that we had that was a, a free transfer. And we actually picked him up. Uh, Man United did not renew his contract. So uh, that was the only, in fact, I got him as a, a free transfer of zero. Uh, his agent actually offered us to him. Uh, effort offered him to us, and we got him on a free transfer. And that was the only reason why we got him. Uh, he's a little bit older, uh, but you know we do have uh, our youngster here, our goalie, our youngster Alex Hall. He's on loan right now. He has four star potential, but his ability is just not growing, and he he's been stuck at at two stars for several years now. So I need to make a. Uh, I need to make a decision on him too. So now our 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 back line is going to stay the same. We're going to have uh, Haggerty on the right. He just signed a, a huge five-year deal with us. Uh, Jerry St. Just and Steve Calker. We're going to run them guys in the middle. Young Suk Young. We're going to run on the left. We picked him up from Turkey on a free transfer. Uh, Robert Snodgrass, we're going to run him on the right. Richard Smallwood and John Arango, we're going to run in the middle. I'm going to give Joe uh, Joe Allen uh, the game uh, today. Today's game off. Uh, Mark Pugh, we're going to run on the left. I picked him up. He was a uh, Bournemouth product. He's not the best, but uh, for free free transfers, he was pretty much the only option available uh, that could play both a left and right winger role because I, I want versatility in uh, a bench player and he was the only one that had some versatility uh, I just didn't want to pick up a left winger and then a right winger I, I, yeah I like the versatility so even though it's a, a flaw and I probably should not do that but uh, that's just what I'm doing for this season strikers uh, we're going to run uh, Lee Angle he's doing really well I, I didn't know how he was going to do in the Premier League and actually he's He's our best option right now. He's going to be in deep line forward, and Newha Dicko. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna run him today. Dominic Samuel. He's been playing a lot of 21s. Uh, every time I've had him in, he just hasn't produced anything. Uh, and also Agallo. Uh, he's been a bust so far. Uh, thank goodness that I didn't pay millions for him in transfer. Uh, he was he is definitely one uh, one of our highest paid players, but. Uh, his transfer costs that we got from Norwich City, we only paid, I think, about 400000 for him. So uh, I'm glad we just didn't pay millions for him. So if that was the case, I'd, I'd probably just run him till his fucking legs broke off and then he'd be out for the for the rest of the season. So, <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, on the bench, we're going to have uh, Flanagan and Jason Pierce for defenders, Hanson and Allen for defenders. We have no winger today. And then we're going to run uh, Agallo and Samuel and hope to God that uh, nothing happens to our wingers. And even if so, I'll just put Joe Allen in. He can play. But he's just not a – he just doesn't have a lot of skill in the left or right role. So. All right, guys, here we go. We are going to hit the pitch. Manchester United, fourth round Capital One Cup. We are at beautiful David FC Stadium, other known as the Dungeon. It is brown bag day here at the Dungeon, and there are 13,000, almost 14,000 rabid David FC fans wearing their brag bags, wearing their brown bags in support of the team. So the teams have taken the pitch, they've all warmed up, and it looks like Dayford FC has the ball to start the game first. Look at Dayford FC's beautiful new stadium. Mmm, it is full at max capacity. Looks like a key play for Dayford FC. Snodgrass with a free kick gets it into the box, and there is no help there, unfortunately. Manchester United with a key play, kicking it out to uh, Janazai. Bacardi gets it over to Janazai. Oh boy, wide open, into the box, wide open. Oh wow, Memphis Depay. 
Nice defense by Snodgrass. Manchester United, they recover. And a key play for Dayford FC. A free kick for uh, Snodgrass. Nice hustle by United as they're pushing the ball down the field. Dayford FC trying to uh, make things happen here. Possession is even. Oh, wow. Schneiderlin is right open. Bernardo. Manchester United scores a fucking goal, of course. Dayford FC nil. Manchester United won. Ooh, the crowd is letting Dayford FC know that they're not too happy about this. 20 minutes gone by, and Dayford FC is uh, winning the possession battle. But the score is still in key play for Manchester United. And it's turned over to Dayford FC, and they just turned the ball right back over to Janice. And Sook Young kicks it back to Sergio, gets it back out to St. Just, and back over to Snodgrass on the right. Haggerty trying to work it up. Ooh, nice move past the midfielder. Right past Memphis. Arango with the ball. Arango's in bad form. He's really, really unhappy. Arango's trying to get a move to a, a bigger club, and it's actually affected his play. Yeah, he's actually been playing like absolute shite lately. Worth every penny of $55,000 a week, let me tell you. And highest paid player calls and all that shit. Way to go, John. Show me how bad you want to transfer out, and I'll just sit you for four years and ruin your career. I'll pay 54000 a week to do that. Sergio with the ball. Dayford FC looking for something. As Sergio just kicks it right to fucking Fernandez. Come on, what are you guys? Come on, Dayford FC. 41 minutes gone by. The score is still Dayford FC nil. Manchester United won. Schneiderlin turns it over to Pew. Pew turns it uh, right back over to Manchester United. And, Man and Manchester turns it over. Arango gets it over to Pew on the left-hand side. God damn, Schneiderlin for Manchester United. Key play. Accardi wide open. Right past. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you doing, Alvarez? You, you didn't even fucking move. You just stood there and watched the goddamn ball go by. Snodgrass at the free kick. Key play for, uh, looks like, Manchester United. They're running away. They're, they're, they're schooling Dayford FC. Dayford FC's need to get their... They're going to get the need, the need to get their heads out of their asses and start playing some goddamn football. Just doesn't look like they want it very bad. Dickhole with the ball. Over to Pew. Back to Dickhole. Dickhole is fouled. Fucking horrendously by Fosu. Bernardo wide open going straight towards Alvarez. Wow, did we get lucky on that, guys. Off the left post. Wow. And that's the score of the half. Dayford FC nil. Manchester United too. No changes for either team. Manchester United starting the ball. Starting with the ball in the second half. Dayford FC looks like they're going to really be ousted out of the fourth run of the Capital One Cup if they don't score a couple goals here. Oh, that's awesome. Dayford FC's best player, Lee Angle. Looks like he's uh, picked up a slight uh, injury, a bruised rib. Let's go and bring him off. He's having a shite game anyway. He's our lowest, uh, yeah, lowest rated player. Let's go ahead and bring in a, our other shit player, uh, Indiana Gallo. Our other highest paid player that's doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Dave Ford FC looking like total shit today against Manchester United. Great show uh, you know, for the fans here at, uh, at the Dungeon. We're going to make another substitute. Uh, we can't, man, we don't have anybody to. Let's go and pull Smallwood out. Pull Joe Allen in. And uh, let's see, I think that's, that's probably what we'll do for today's game. In fact, I'll probably end up pulling out uh, Dickhole as well. Nice lob in. Calker gets the steal, gets it back to Sergio, and Sergio is going to kick it right back downfield to Manchester United. Boy, how did I guess that? Way to go, Sergio. Jesus Christ. 
Nice lob to Accardi, but uh, St. Just, good defense, kicks it back out to the line. Not only getting into the outside of the box, kicks it inside, and wow, we got an own goal. Steven Calker. Way to guess, Steven. Nil to three, Dayford FC nil, Manchester United three. Let's just get this goddamn game over with, shall we? Jesus. Well, that's just one less tournament we uh, we can uh, concentrate on and, and worry more about surviving relegation in the Premier League. See, so, you know, that's that's where we're getting all our money anyway. So, all right, Dick over to Allen and uh, shit passing. Way to go, Joe. You're worth every penny of fifty-four thousand a week. No wonder why no teams were interested in you. St. Just, Snodgrass, Agallo. I'll be surprised if we can do anything. Dicko wide open. Hits it right to De Gea. David De Gea with a good stop. And that's a kick by Samuel about 20 rows deep. Now that we actually have 20 rows deep in our stadium, that's pretty nice. Beautiful day for FC Stadium, guys. Beautiful stadium. Double tiers behind each goal. Soon to be double tiers all the way around, I'm sure. Oh, boy. Stadium expansion coming soon next year again. We'll start construction after this uh, season. Hopefully if we stay up. <laughs> Haggerty crosses it in, and there's a score! Dominic Samuel, his first goal of the year. That gives David FC a 1-3 uh Losing score still. Schneider on with the ball. Key play for Manchester United. Then only on the left-hand side, pushing it in. Great defense by D for an FC. Nice hustle there, Agala. Your 30-year-old knees can't handle it, I can see. Crotch with the ball. Suk Young kicks it back out to Diallo. Schneider Lynn Bacardi. Martinez Martial. Martial shoots it. Wow, Sergio actually stopped one. Way to go, Sergio. Nice header, just wide right out of the net. Let's see if Dayford FC can score two goals in about three minutes. Don't think it's going to happen, but we're going to overload the box. Let's see if anything can happen with Dayford FC. Daily blend with a yellow card. Dayford FC with a corner. Kicked out by Manchester U. Yeah, Igala, let's let's go the other way. Let's score a fucking goal. And that's it here at the Dodge Ed. Dayford FC 1. Manchester United 3. Dayford FC's great run in the Capital One Cup has come to an end. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, our post-game analysis for the fourth round of the Capital One Cup is as follows. We had 10 fouls on one yellow card. That was a Jerry St. Just fifth yellow card. Uh, and now he is out for one match for suspension. We had uh, really not much to talk about. We lost the possession battle. We had three shots on target with one goal, which is uh, decent. Uh, Haggerty had an assist. And Dominic Samuel had our goal. Also remember... Uh, we had an injury to Lee Angle. He is out for uh, about two weeks with bruised ribs. So he is going to miss uh, probably several games for us now, which is not a, which is not a good thing, but it is going to give uh, you know uh, our other striker. We'll probably be playing uh, Dominic Samuel. We'll give him another try. So, guys, really not much to, to write home about. I mean, everybody had piss poor, uh, a piss-poor game. Uh, but it is Manchester United. They're one of the, you know, probably one of the richest teams in the world. So, you know, we'll get there in a in a couple years if we can if we can stay up. So, all right, guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you like the video, thumbs up it and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Anyways, have a good one. See you next time. And until then, keep juggling your balls around.